I think one of the most important things with events like this is how do we connect what we're hearing about what's going on globally with what is happening locally. Another thing that's important to remember about uh, human trafficking is that the victims tend to be the most vulnerable people in the society. Addressing attitudes towards trafficking is relevant in this regard because of attitudes towards children and women. And that really is a norm that has to change in many societies. For example, in Iraq, actually the woman who was running a woman's shelter actually forced the women in that shelter into prostitution. Mm -hmm. But one of the people who helped with that problem and intervened was, was a policeman. And we've also had policemen who have really risked their lives. Well, sometimes this can be a little dangerous in some situations. Don't fight with them when they have gun. If you are clever, save your life first. I'm happy if I die for a good cause. What we need from all of you, we need coordination. We need the people in UN, political, you know, like everyone who try to, how to empower and being behind the local people. We do not put enough resources in prevention. It's so neat to see everybody getting involved and learning about this and how we can play an important part in this. Coming to a council event is a way to really gain knowledge and insights and contacts and networks about all of these things that are happening in the world. Um, and I would also make a big plug for the local global dimension, that you can be in Chicago and you can have a great impact on what's going on in the world. My girl, she's very appreciate her life. She never get complained that she get HIV AIDS. She tell me, mommy, I'm happy. I have enough in my life. Appreciate it and being happy in your life and start help order.